Mary. I am here today with a special celebration, demonstration in honor of Mother's Day, which is today. I myself am a mother, a grandmother, and most recently a great-grandmother to my beautiful great-grandchild, Ermitrude. Here is a little card she has very, very generously created for me while partaking in a nursery session. Now, on today's Into the Kitchen, I am going to demonstrate to you how to make a succulent special Mother's Day fruity salad just for your mother, stepmother, grandmother, great-grandmother, or even great-great-great-grandmother. Now, to do today's demonstration and your fruity salad, all you need is the following ingredients. You need one banana, one apple, half a lemon, two tomatoes, two very, very small tomatoes, and a handful of graplings. Also, if you'd like to add a mixture, to your fruity salad, you can always purchase yourself a little tub of yogurt. Now, to begin today's demonstration, I will start off with the banana. Now, the banana is a very, very appealing fruit. <laughs> with the banana, what I like to do is take a big, big sharp knife. Now be very, very careful with the sharp knife as they are very, very pointy. With your banana, I tend to poke the little top there and create a slit in its foreskin and on the other side as well. There we go. When you are happy after splitting your foreskin, you peel back to reveal the inside of your nana. There we go, and what a firm nana this is. Now, when you have disposed of the skin, once you have disposed, then do begin to cut very, very carefully your nana into edible chunks, like that. With the nana now chopped in half, why not move on to your apple? Now, this apple is a very good apple indeed, as it came from my own apple orchard, the apple orchard of Mary Berry. Once again, do be very, very careful chopping your apple into small edible chunklings. There we go, like this. Apples are very, very nice and very sunkly. If you would like to be recyclable, then why not take the core out of your apple and put the little seedlings to the side? Once you have finished with your apple, why not move on to your graplings and cut them very, very gently indeed. Now, when I am making my fruity salads, like I quite often do for my husband and my pussy cat, I like to put my fruit together in a big mixing bowl, like many people do, and whisk them together. Following your graplings, then why not grab your two cherry tomatoes? Once again, be very, very careful not to chop your bloody fingers. There we go. So two nice chopping cherry tomatoes. Now, with the lemon, what I like to do, I like to slice into small pieces. And they can be very tough lemonings to slice. With the sliced pieces, for your 
a Mother's Day special, I would perch them on a small bavrage. There we go. So there's a small bavrage for your mother. This little bavrage was given to me by my very, very dear daughter, Ermitrude the Second. She brought this beverage to me earlier. Now the alcoholic beverage can be any alcoholic substance you like, with a little, little lemon slice. So, there we go. Once all your fruity is together, all you have to do is place your chunks into a bowl, just like this, with your fruity salad. And like I said, what I like to do to add a bit of texture to my fruity salad is to purchase a little pouch or carton of yogurt and pour into into the bowl. There we go. So, so. So there we go. All the ingredients today's demonstration are available in the description box below. If you have enjoyed today's demonstration in the kitchen with Mari Berry, then do comment below and post on Poop's Tube channel. Thank you very much for joining me. I've been Berry Berry in the kitchen and a very, very happy Mother's Day to you all.